My name is uh, Vidu Sørendal. I'm the leader of uh, SF here in Denmark, the Green Left Party here. I should just uh, make a short introduction to this section where we are gathered from the whole world, gathered in uh, the, the necessity to act to secure that we have a planet for our children and our grandchildren, gathered also because if we act, there is a lot of hope for this globe that we can make it even better. I think every reasonable leader of this world know and know precisely what we are playing about. A lot of them have been taken to Greenland. They have seen how the ice is melting at the poles. It's going very quick. They know this is serious. A lot of them have seen the pictures from Africa, from Australia, with areas where the rain doesn't come anymore, with the desert spreading. They know it's Syria, serious. Or they have been to the Himalaya mountains and seen that the area producing a lot of drinking water is not longer producing as much as it was because the ice is melting. Every responsible leader of this world knows which, know which challenges we are facing. And therefore I think it's very important what we saw also yesterday but also today. Yesterday's demonstration was the biggest demonstration in this country for many, 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 many years. It was a beautiful sight to see people, uh, to see people telling the leaders, pressing their leaders, show the necessary courage, courage take the necessary responsibility because we are ready. We representing the people are ready to move. Here in Denmark, it's not only the grassroots participating who are willing. Also, a lot of the firms are willing. In fact, this country is living also because we have a windmill industry, we have a green technology industry, which is the most rapidly industry growing in these years. Therefore, I think we have to make broad alliances with all the ones who want to change this world for the future. We also have a few ones denying this agenda. You probably all have them also have them in your countries. Uh, I have to leave you soon because I have to go to debate on Danish TV, t television for one hour tonight with some of the ones denying this agenda. It was very important that we were 100,000 yesterday showing these people know this is serious, this is serious and we have to act. I think also this is a message of if we act, we have a lot of good possibilities. We have a possibility to help the poor country in this world who are paying the price for the development the rich countries have been through. We have the possibility to make high goals. I think every leader should be judged on his willingness to put up high goals and not low goals and to do it quickly. I think we have the common hope that we can change this world into new industries who make it possible to live in balance with nature. I'll not take any more of your time. Just say very much welcome once again. Keep the pressure on the political leaders. We have to make an ambitious agreement here in Copenhagen.